The LGBTQ plus community is a 3.7 trillion dollar global economy, and it's a market many executives are ignoring. It's currently the fastest growing market right now, and is on target to grow by millions more over the next few years. The LGBTQ plus community says don't just target them during Pride Month; they want to see representation all year round. Joining us here on the Factor to talk about it is writer and content marketer Nick Woney. Glad to have you on the Factor on Censor. So why are so many advertisers and major corporations ignoring this resource or all of this money that's out there? Right. Well, it's a big issue, especially, you know, during the month of June because it's Pride Month. Mm -hmm. So a lot of organizations will say, oh, I'm just going to slap a rainbow on my logo and be off on my way. You know, I'm, I'm woke. I know what's going on. When in reality, Isaiah, you know, we're gay 12 months a year. Uh -huh. So if you're going off of that, rather than having to try and compete with everything else that's going on, all of the other marketing that is segmented particularly to our community, by spreading that out, you can capture our attention especially when it comes to just the day-to-day -day experiences that we're having. We still deal with, in 29 states, discrimination on um, job applications or housing mm -hmm. applications, for example. We don't know how that's going to necessarily play out. You know? And so if you, as a brand, can let us know throughout the year <coughs> that you're in our corner, then that creates brand loyalty real quick in our community. Now, what we've seen is Supreme Court case, a Supreme Court case where a baker just didn't want any uh, business from the LGBTQ community. Is that the type of mindset that hurts that, uh, that, that market where people would necessarily be marketing to the LGBT community, but there are individuals saying, I don't want your business because you're gay? Well, a new survey just came out recently uh, in the state of Texas. Uh, it was covered by the statesman that 71% of Texans feel that it's not okay for a business to discriminate based on sexual uh, orientation or gender identity. Uh, but another conflicting statistic to that is that 45% of Americans think that we are completely covered and that uh, by federal laws mm -hmm. to not be discriminated against at all. So a lot of this is just about making people aware um, about the day-to-day -day issues, not only with the LGBTQ plus community as a whole, but also within different microcosms of that community, right? The experience that I'm having as a white cisgender gay man is very different from the experience that a trans woman woman of color is having, for mm -hmm. example. And so by shining light on that and creating awareness around those different, uh, those different sub communities, that is going to be what's really, really important. And that again, informs us that you're interested in getting to know our community better uh, and that, that we can trust you.